Welcome back to the car time. All right. We have some news. Justin Fields, we've been talking <laughs> about him for months. He finally got moved. He is All now right. a Pittsburgh Here we go. Steeler. Oh. Interesting oh. for a sixth-round oh. pick. If he plays the majority of snaps, it will be a fourth-round pick. Craig, what do you think about Fields being moved for Why a sixth-round pick? <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Look, I, I don't get tired of being right. I never get tired of being right. So why don't we go into the Carton Show time machine and just take a look back while you were home watching the show, Timmy. Yes. Sure you saw this thing place. I saw place. this. I s- do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Okay. Do it. Okay. Oh, we're still doing it. <laughs> Be great if you played it with sound, it's actually. Chicago Bears, but I keep him around. Be a damn good slot receiver. Damn good slot receiver. Stop, a damn man. good you slot receiver. You don't even <laughs> d- d- that. Damn good slot receiver. Uh, I don't know why we played that. That's not. That's it. not it's, it. That's not it at all. It's fine. It's early in the show. It's Monday. Uh, <laughs> new producer. Someone's getting fired. Uh, look, what I said last week was that he was done. He was never yes. going to play another down as quarterback right. for the Chicago Bears. What I never could have figured out, and it is surprising to me that all they could get for him is really a sixth-round pick. He's not going to play 51% of the snaps in Pittsburgh because sure. they've already said Russell Wilson's a starter. He's going there to be his backup. And I think it's a good move by Pittsburgh, by the way, to have a young quarterback. There's some contractual issues where he's going to be a free agent and have an opportunity to go somewhere else just based on how the, the contract works. But I think it's a smart move by Pittsburgh. Kenny Pickett's a malcontent, wanted no part of being yeah. a backup to Russell Wilson. I don't know what he thinks he's accomplished in the league where he can't back somebody up who's won a Super Bowl. But that's where Kenny Pickett was. So he gets traded, as you know by now, to Philadelphia. What I'm trying to figure out on this just and field sing is for those of you like yourself, yep. like Greg Jennings, so unfortunately can't be here today to answer to this is why you guys thought so highly of Justin Fields and why you thought he was still going to be a starting quarterback when the market has now spoken. Doesn't matter what I say, the market has now told you he was worth a six round pick. And let me just put that into perspective the NFL market has now come out and said that we value Kenny Pickett more than we value Justin Fields. The Eagles gave up more to get Kenny Pickett than the Steelers gave up to go out there and get Justin Fields. So let's start with that as low-hanging fruit. What's your response to that? Well, you got Justin Fields, who had three years into his career. He only had 40 touchdowns. In the, we're talking about the three years he was with the uh, yeah. Chicago Bears. He had he didn't have anything around him, right? Multiple head coaches, OCs, yada, yada, yada. Kenny Pickett was only on his second year. He had a first good year and a bad second year. Yeah. What hurt Kenny Pickett was his ability, his lack of ability to go out there when they needed him to go out there. Justin Fields still had a lot of room for growth. Even when he was under Luke Geske as an uh, offensive coordinator and he had Eberflus, those back nine games, he played better. Sure. So whatever the market says is fine, but at the end of the day, Justin Fields had more tape than Kenny Pickett. And yet Bottom Kenny line. Pickett got more of a return than Justin Fields did. And then to take that, we take that conversation now to the next level because here's what I'm trying to figure out. The Philadelphia Eagles have a starting quarterback. They uh, needed to replace Marcus Mariota as a backup. You go get Kenny Pickett, a uh, kid who's now not going to be a starter in this league and maybe can resuscitate his career at some point. I get that. Okay. Pittsburgh Steelers. You have Russell Wilson, Super Bowl champion, trying to reprove himself. Game hasn't lost him. Uh, he hasn't lost yeah. it. And now he wants to show all the doubters, I can still play. Justin Field goes there, be the backup. I get that. Understand all that. Here's what I don't understand. What the heck are the Denver Broncos doing? (laughs) Because if you could get Justin Fields, who I don't think is a very good quarterback, but you don't have a quarterback in Ben DiNucci and Jared Stidham. And as of right now, you haven't moved up in the draft to get one of the top three quarterbacks yet in the upcoming draft. What I can't understand is, I think his name is George Patton, the general manager in Denver, or maybe you pronounce it Peyton, that's fine. And you have Sean Payton there as well. Mm -hmm. But what are you guys doing? Because nobody thinks Justin Fields is a very good quarterback. And that's why he wasn't taken by the Denver Broncos. And I could still make the argument he's better than DiNucci and Stidham. Yeah, I don't know that he is. No, no. He, him and Ryan Poles, Justin Fields and Ryan Poles had a discussion. 
And in that discussion, Ryan, Justin Fields is pretty much, these are the teams I want to go to. These are the teams I'm not going to. There were four teams that were after Justin Fields. He, did, he said, I don't want to go here. The one team that he said that he wanted to go to because of the relationship he had with Mike Tomlin was the Pittsburgh Steelers. So this wasn't just no teams wanted them. There were teams out there. I don't believe that for no. a minute. They got, they got a six-round draft pick. It's like, he's, it's like he's an afterthought. Go ahead, Tim well, maybe, maybe he didn't want to go where Sean Payton was going because, sure. because what he did oh. to Russell Wilson. Was that you know, somewhere he did? Didn't want or maybe there's no weapons yeah. out there for yeah, him to play with. Oh, is that no right? But I think, well, I, I, think, I, think did, I think Pittsburgh Steelers oh. did a great job because yeah. they could have him I agree in, with in you. a Wildcat. I and agree. he could come out and do his stuff in a Wildcat uh-huh. and have Russell Wilson go back and sit down and come back in, and that's how they could play him. So but, the guy who's achieved nothing in his career. Oh, you're such I a, don't want to. I don't want to play for has him. Either. Pick it. Why, why, why would he go to wait, wait, wait. We need to get on Pickett just like you get on. I do. Uh, All the time no, I get on Kenny Pickett. He's a terrible quarterback. <laughs> yeah. With teeny little hands. But, but he wanted to leave because he didn't want to That's right. be a bad And I would tell you this. Kenny Pickett can't play for me because if you can't take competition, then you can't Facts. lead my team. I agree with that. I, I agree and that's that. why I love okay, Baker well, Mayfield. Justin Fields then. I'm on both of them. No, you sounding off on Justin Fields just a little bit too much. Well, because Justin Fields happened more recently than Kenny Pickett. But let me be clear, sir because that's a very fine question. Kenny Pickett's the same exact thing as Justin Fields, a first-round draft bust who cannot play no, quarterback in the NFL. It, so there you go, Tim Hardaway. No, I, you, I, I agree you. with you on that. Thank you, If sir. you look at the Steelers' okay. quarterback room, they had Trubisky, Pickett, and Rudolph last right. year. And now they've got Wilson and Fields. Like, they have completely upgraded a team. No question. They're, they won a bunch of games last yeah. year with bad quarterbacks. Like, yes. this, if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, this is a very, very good week for you. Uh, yes. The Russell Wilson signing is a very, very good thing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Justin Fields is not going to play for them unless, of course, Mike Tomlin thinks what I think wow, Ken, and what you there. think. Wow, you Ken, put him on the there. field in a non-quarterback position there. and let him be a rock he's star. He's not playing slot receiver. <laughs> no, he's not going to play hey, slot Justin receiver. Fields I'm talking about field, Wildcat. It's solely because Russell Wilson is stinking it up next it's year. Hurt, On hurt. top of that, if you're Justin Fields and you leave Chicago, why would you want to ever go to any other team and deal what you deal what you dealt with in Chicago? You, if you don't have weapons, you, you're not going to be great. Because you haven't earned the right to say what no do you to mean a trade. Earn? You have not earned the right to dictate where you go next. Much more on this later in the show. I'll let the big man I have hate some the breakfast. Word earn. Yeah, earn. He hasn't earned the right to who say no to a trade. Who earns the right to do anything? Uh, guys who have accomplished something in the league have earned the right to dictate where they go, typically because they get a no-trade clause in their deals. But if you're a three-year veteran who right. hasn't thrown for 3,000 yards yet in a season, haven't had a winning season, you but have not earned – But none of that's his fault. You, oh, stop it making excuses, Name, Willie Go Cologne. in rookie year. Name his team. You can't. Oh, here we go. All bumped. Let me ask you a question. You tell me a first-round quarterback that goes to a good team. CJ Stroud. Oh, stop it. What do you mean? The Houston Texans stunk the year they before. They went to the second round of the playoffs. Yes, they did. With but him. when he went there, they weren't very good. That's why you pick as high as you pick to with get a first round said, quarterback. If you don't draft the quarterback and don't give him nothing to work with at that. You still got to earn the right to dictate where you play. And I'm sorry, Kenny Pickett. And Justin Fields, neither of them have earned the right to say no to a trade. Much more on this later, because I'm we're not done no, yet. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. We are not and done yet. You, you said you need some breakfast. We're not done yet. You Don't wanna, go nowhere. You want to earn something? Don't go nowhere. I need something to earn. I've been boxing lately, so you better lock it up. I'm going to let fist. you have some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>